I want to paint two versions of our world for you. The world can only be one of these two. In the first world, we're a product of chance, organized stardust. We live for a very short time, a life with no meaning, no purpose, and no morality. We suffer some sorrows and we die. Then everyone we've ever loved dies and eventually your memory fades off the earth. At some point, every human to ever exist dies. The sun dies and the earth dies and it would be as if no one ever existed in the first place. Meaningless, purposeless, and to a destiny of nothingness. Now that may seem negative, but honestly, that is the philosophy of Western culture. It's ultimately the deep belief of many of our leaders and academics. On the other hand, there's another version of this world, the one I believe, God. God exists. God created the universe and everything you see and feel. God is all knowing, sovereign. There is nothing that happens God does not know about and ultimately allow and either approve of or judge. In this version of the world, God created you with a meaning and a purpose to life, and it's yours to know if you seek it. In this version of the world, you have real value. You are important and loved by God. So which version of the universe is true? There are some clues for you. If death were normal and natural, or just a biological function, why does it bother us so much? Why do we recognize it as something bad instead of just something that is simply a fact of nature? Why do we try to prevent it? Instead of being normal and natural, there's instead a universal, unnatural nature to suffering. It serves as a clue to us that this is not the way things should be, and that people were originally created to live forever with God. Another clue is what I call the downward spiral of poor life choices. Some people, when they reflect, are able to see that their choices have wrecked their lives and that there's a higher moral code put in place by somebody that would have made their lives better if they'd listened. And those who follow those clues ultimately reach out to God, the creator of morality, and the one who knows what's best for our lives. And finally, the meaningless of life doesn't really make sense. How many things do you have in your home that have no meaning or purpose? All of them do. It makes no sense to have no purpose in life. But unless you know your creator, you'll never know why it was you were created. These are big clues that there is a God, and this God has a purpose, a reason, a moral order. I highly encourage you to seek God through his representative, Jesus Christ, to learn what your purpose is.